Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Simplify's tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to look at Kurt Lewin's unfreeze, change and refreeze model which is a three-step process of implementing organizational change. Now we've already covered Lewin's force field analysis model in this channel. The link will be in the description. Now change is one of the universal constants in the modern business world as we all know. The success of change management in an organization depends on how well the people in the organization understand the reasons for the change, the process of the implementation of the change and what is expected of them once the change is implemented. Now Lewin's change management model looks at change management as a simple three-way process which is unfreeze, change and refreeze. According to Lewin, change must happen only when there is a strong motivation to undergo the change. Lewin looked at the analogy of a block of ice to explain his change management model. Now let's take a look at that analogy. Uh, let's, let's presume that we've got a block of ice or an ice cube and actually wish to have a sphere of ice. So we'll need to essentially follow a three-step process uh, to, to get to the result that we're looking for. Firstly, we need to melt the block of ice, which is the unfreeze process. And then we'll need to pour the water that comes out uh, into a spherical mode. And the, the last part of the process is to freeze the mold to get the desired spherical shaped ice. Quite simple. Now, let's look at how this this analogy translates across uh, to the business world starting with the unfreeze process the process of unfreezing starts with preparing the organization for the change that's about to take place the management needs to communicate with the members of staff in terms of the actual reasons for the change the reasons of the change could be declining sales figures uh, poor customer service scores high employee turnover, greater operational efficiency that's required, etc, etc. The staff basically needs to understand that you sometimes need to change the existing beliefs, attitudes, uh, etc. To, to get to a higher level of operational efficiency. This is essentially the unfreeze process. Now the following steps can be taken to ensure success in this process. And to understand why change needs to actually take place. To get buy-in from senior management, extremely important. To create a vision for the change and, and actually outline the key aspects of the change that is to take place. To communicate this vision and the need for the change across the entire organization. And then finally to encourage feedback and correct your course of action uh, in accordance to the feedback. Now, the key aspects of this very important stage are preparation and communication. Now, the next stage is the actual change. Now, this is the transition phase where the actual change is being implemented. People will obviously take time to support any change completely. They will, however, start to change their attitudes and practices with the passage of time to cater to the new way of doing things. So during this process, the following steps can be taken to ensure success. Uh, communication. To communicate with people regularly about the benefits of the ongoing change. To explain to people how the change will affect them uh, once it's being implemented. How, how it will affect them personally, individually. And then to be open to questions about the whole process and the results. And then to be prepared to deal with any operational hurdles on the way to get more people involved in the actual process and to incentivize them for taking part in the process. Now let's look at the final stage which is refreeze. Now with the passage of time and with people embracing the new ways of working it will be time to implement the refreeze, refreeze stage of the process. The essence of this stage really is for people to be advised and supported to continue working with the new way and to internalize these changes which have been implemented. Now we can take the following steps to ensure success in this process. We can provide training and support to people to manage 
changes to their approach or roles because this is a new change there will be a lot of things which they'll be doing differently to what they've been doing identify the barriers to sustaining the change which has been put in place now encourage people to provide feedback about the way things have changed and eventually it is all about infusing positivity about the change and highlighting any benefits that have already been realized now it's extremely important to actually celebrate the the implementation of the change to celebrate the change itself as it reinforces the original objectives of the change to people and helps them continually contribute to the success of the organization okay I hope that was useful for you. I thank you very much for your attendance. And as always, uh, please support the content on this channel. Please like and uh, I request you to use the comment section to recommend topics uh, to be covered in this channel. Thanks very much. Bye.